What's going on, everybody? Keith Niebuhr with Gators Online to talk a little Florida Gators football recruiting with you today. The subject is the guy pictured right next to me. That's six foot six, 265 pound, five star defensive lineman, LJ McCray of Daytona Beach, Mainland. He's one of the biggest Florida Gator targets in the entire country for the 2024 class. In fact, you could argue among the uncommitted targets out there for Florida. He's probably at the top of the list. He's the number eight recruit in the nation for on three and the number one defensive lineman in the country. Now, LJ has a final five of Florida, Florida State, Miami, Auburn, and Georgia. Right now, most of the buzz is about the Florida Gators and the Georgia Bulldogs, but do not discount the Florida State Seminoles. He will officially visit the Knowles the weekend of October of October 7th, and his birthday is October 18th, and that's significant because LJ would like to have a commitment sometime soon after that. So we're getting into the nitty-gritty of LJ McRae's recruitment. So he is the subject, the topic of today's show, five reasons why the Florida Gators could land five-star defensive lineman LJ McRae. Let's get right into it. Number one, L.J. McCray likes the direction of the Florida program. He, in fact, he said that before the season, okay? Before the season, he said, hey, I think Florida is on an upward trend, okay? Trending upward, upward path. And that was before, again, before the season, and more importantly, before he attended last week's game at the Swamp where he watched Florida beat number 11, Tennessee 29-16. to 16. Now, after that game, he told me, he said, look, everything they've told me that was going to happen has happened. They call that proof of concept. So before the season, what the staff was selling him were really just words. But now he is seeing it. Now he is seeing Florida perform. Okay. Now he has seen the Gators win a big game at the Swamp. So again, proof of concept. He likes the direction of the program. That is significant. All right. Number two on our list of five reasons why the Florida Gators could land five-star defensive lineman L.J. McCrett. He has a great relationship with the staff. Let's start with Billy Napier, the head coach. Now, this summer when I talked to LJ, he said one of the things that stood out about Billy Napier was Billy's attention to detail. That just kind of resonated with him. Now, uh, yeah, for whatever reason, that's something that just clicked with him. It doesn't click with every kid. But for LJ, who's a very cerebral player, he's not just this piece of clay with this unbelievable skill set. He's a guy that's got a high IQ, both on the field and off. So that attention to detail is significant. Now, after last week's game, he spent a good bit of time with Billy Napier, and apparently that went great. He, uh, by all accounts, likes the message, and the two have clicked. But this is important. He's not just bonding with Billy Napier. He's also building relationships and good ones with multiple members of the Florida coaching staff. We'll go down the list here of the main guys that he has pointed out in addition to Billy Napier. One of them is defensive coordinator Austin Armstrong, the young and energetic 30-year-old D.C. Uh, he likes him a lot. Another guy that he's high on is edge coach Mike Peterson, the former all-SEC linebacker for the Florida Gators, who's now back as the edge coach and outside backers coach. He likes him a lot. And then the other coach that he's really clicked with is defensive line coach Sean Spencer, also known as Coach Chaos. So, again, it's not just one or two guys. It's four coaches that L.J. McRae has really kind of built these strong relationships with during his multiple visits to Gainesville. And so that is significant. All right, number three on the list of five reasons why the Florida Gators could land five-star defensive lineman L.J. McCray. How about the impressive play of the Gators' defensive line this season? Obviously, that first half out against Utah and Salt Lake City in week one wasn't a thing of beauty uh, for any part of the Florida team. But remember, in the second half of that game, the Florida defense really started to rise up, and it started with the play up front. That carried into week two against an overmatched McNeese team, but still, nonetheless, there were signs that Florida's defense was trending in the right direction. And obviously last week, uh, with the exception of a couple of drives, the Florida defense was you know, at times dominant, putting pressure on uh, Joe Milton, the Tennessee Vols quarterback, and also holding the Vols to well below their season average in rushing, just over 100 yards, in fact. So the defensive line really set the tone for a strong defensive performance. Now, why is that? Important? Well, one, obviously, he's a defensive line. Okay, so we know that. But he told me before the season, you know, I asked, I said, look, on-field results for Florida this season, how significant are they? He said, yeah, I mean, you know, I – but he, he, he was like, hey, look, I think they're going to do well. I think Florida is going to be a good team. He said, but more importantly to me, 
this is his words, was the play of the, or is the play of the defensive line. He wanted to see how they grew, how they were developed, how they perform. Again, now he has seen them up close and, you know, he happened to be there for one of the best games for a Florida defensive lineman in recent memory. So that should stick into his head. In fact, after the game, he said that he was really impressed with the play of the Florida defense and how aggressive and physical they were. So again, these are things that he's processing right now. Now, number four on our list of five reasons why the Florida Gators could land five-star defensive lineman L.J. McCray. He's okay with building something. You know, Georgia, which again, as we mentioned earlier, is a major factor in this recruitment, has won two straight national titles. They're already at the top of college football. Florida is trying to get there, okay? So what's more important to him? What does he like better? He wouldn't say when I asked him this summer, but what he did say about Florida was, I'm okay with being part of a build. And Florida's coaching staff has sold that to these young guys they are recruiting. They're not saying it's no pie in the sky stuff. Let's put it that way. They're not saying, hey, we're going to win 11, 12 games this year. They're, they've been honest with these guys. There's a rebuild happening, okay? There's a rebuild happening, and we want you to be part of this uh, process of making Florida a great program again. And that has resonated with him. And he said, look, I did that in high school. And so we looked it up, and sure enough, during L.J. McCray's sophomore season, Mainland won just five games. All right, now – you're talking about one of the best programs, one of the best teams in the state of Florida. And he has been a significant player as that program has risen from 500 ball to a team capable of making a deep run in the playoffs. So again, he is okay with building something. That is not maybe going to be what leads him to Gainesville, but it doesn't seem to be something that is going to deter him from going to Gainesville. And that's important too. Number five on our list of five reasons why the Florida Gators could land five-star defensive lineman L.J. McCray. He's bonded with a lot of the Gator commits. You'll remember this last Saturday at the Swamp wasn't his first time around five-star quarterback commit D.J. Lagway, around four-star linebacker commit Jamonta Waller, around four-star linebacker commit Miles Graham, and the many other Gator commitments that were at the Swamp. L.J. McCray officially visited the Gators in June. He knows a lot of these guys already, and he told us this summer, I hear from them all the time, to paraphrase. So he knows them, he likes them, they are putting a lot of effort into recruiting him. It's not just the staff trying to get LJ to Gainesville. It's the other commits, starting with the DJ Lagways and Miles Grahams of the world. They are all over LJ McCray, but they know when to push and when not to push. And I think he has respected that. Uh, but so far, so good. That connection is there. He can see himself playing with these guys at the next level. So those are five reasons why the Florida Gators could, again, could being the key word, could land five-star defensive lineman L.J. McCray. Obviously, it's something where Florida is going to have to recruit L.J. until the very end. He's a talented player. He's a smart player. He understands the recruiting process and what he needs to look for and, uh, and how to disseminate information. But right now, the Florida Gators seem to feel like they're in a pretty good spot. But again, they know that there's still a long way to go, even though it may not seem like it. There's a lot left to be done in this recruitment. They are going to have to recruit him until the very end, but they do have a shot and maybe a good shot. All right, for Gators Online, I am Keith Niebuhr. We appreciate you watching this show, Five Reasons Why the Florida Gators Could Land Five-Star Defensive Lineman L.J. McCray, who, by the way, I think is one of the two or three best prospects in the country in the 2024 class. If you like what we're doing here, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page and please leave a comment. Even if it's negative, go for it. We need the criticism. We need the critique. We got to get better, okay? Uh, also, I have to, uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't say right now at Gators Online, uh, $1 gets you one month of the best in team insight, team intel, recruiting scoop, and just all around UF coverage along with one of the most lively message board communities in the entire country for college sports. Gators Online, $1 one month. Check us out. That'll do it. Take care, everybody. Have a good weekend.